Hello everyone, this is Jadid. I'm the Community Dietitian from the Davenport Perth Neighborhood and Community Health Center. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a zucchini cornmeal bread. It's a gluten-free recipe, but if you don't have gluten-free flour you can also use regular wheat flour. It makes two loaves and each loaf you can cut into six servings. You need the following ingredients. First of all for the flour, I have this gluten-free flour. We need one and a quarter cup. Then for baking soda, we need one teaspoon. We need two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of cornmeal. And over here I have one zucchini. That one we're going to grate. And then over here, three tablespoons of butter. The butter um, helps to make the bread rise and it gives it a crispier crust. It also enhances the, increases the shelf life of the bread. Three tablespoons of butter. Over here we have milk. You can choose lactose-free milk, regular cow's milk. You can choose plant-based milk. Um, I find that the cow's milk gives it more protein. Um, and then you also get calcium, vitamin D, vitamin A. So it just makes the bread richer as, as when you use, than when you use water. We need three quarter cup and two tablespoons of milk. Over here we have one teaspoon of um, salt. We need half a teaspoon of black pepper and a little bit of oil. The oil we need to brush on top of the bread so that it looks nice and shiny. First we're going to grate the zucchini. So over here I have my zucchini and I have the grater and I can cut off the end of the zucchini just a little bit. I'm just going to use the whole zucchini and grate it. So the zucchini helps to keep the bread moist. There we go. Good. I'm going to put that in a bowl to add later. Next we are going to melt the butter. And then we can start sifting the flour. So I have my big bowl over here. I'm going to start with the flour. We have one cup and a quarter. And then one teaspoon of the baking soda. And here we have the baking powder, two teaspoons. And if you find that it it lumps um, the baking powder, then uh, you can maybe use a knife and then try to uh, break it up. So now I'm going to add another bowl um, so that I can sift the flours. So what we do is I have a sip here and then I'm going to scoop the flour from this bowl and then sift it in here. So you do that until everything is gone. Just make sure that there's no lumps in the bread that it will rise evenly. So this bread is a nice alternative to eating regular bread. Um, it contains the zucchini and the zucchini makes it moist. So it's more nutritious as well. You get more fiber in it. So, so now that we have this, um, so that's the first step. So after you have sifted the flours, uh, make sure that you have the oven preheated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and next we're going to add in the cornmeal, one cup. And then we're going to add in the zucchini. So this is the grated zucchini. Now the milk, um, we're going to measure that and that needs to be warm as well. So you can heat that on the stove top or you can heat it in the microwave. So this is three quarter cup. And then we need two more tablespoons. Okay, so here we have our warm milk. I think if you heat it up at 45, for 45 seconds in the microwave, then that would be good enough. So we will add that in. The warm milk helps to retain gas in the bread, so it becomes fluffy and um, softer. So we need one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then we're adding in the butter. 
You can also use oil if you like. And then you stir it all up. We um, make a bowl with our hands. our bowl of bread. Uh, we're going to divide it in half. Make two loaves. It has parchment paper on it. And then we can bake it in the oven uh, for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so now we have the breads out of the oven. They have baked for 25 minutes. And I've noticed that when I Pierce them with a skewer, they come out, it comes out clean, so it's ready to eat. I hope that you will enjoy this bread. You can even make sandwiches out of it if you'd like, or eat it with soup. Um, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching.